Welcome back. Let's have a look at some other charts on fucking technical. And the next one is MassMart. And that is from Mel. Mel wants to know about MassMart. Let's have a look. This is one of the companies that everybody thought it's going to go bankrupt. And then it started to come right. And the, the guys did the right thing. And look at this. And then they came out with better than res expected results. And look at this beautiful chart. I mean, this is a company that everybody wrote off. And um, it was at around 18 Rand here. And look what it happened. It started to just tell us that things are not that bad. And suddenly it started to rise. And look at the tent here. The tent is well entrenched. There you are. Have a look. There's the tent. Sorry. Uh, there's the tent. If you look at Look at that. Momentum clearly to the upside. Um, but what I do pick up here, it may be broke a little bit outside the strength. There you are. Beautiful ascending channel, and we do get that. Sometimes we get a, a nice ascending channel, and then the stock rallies above it, and then comes back into this. This is what you call almost, you can say, a false breakout, because, um, I mean, look at this one candle from 48 Rand, to 53 rand in one go but of course that was because the company said that it, they're doing better than expected but what do we see here we in this ascending channel or just above it and if it breaks below 56 and 40 um, Mel you can easily see the stock come back to this 48 rand 17 and that's maybe the place to buy it because every time that you buy at the support where it bounces off you've got a nice chance to make a bit of money and if you buy there at around 48 Rand, there's a nice tight stop loss. The stop loss will be 43 Rand and 74 cents. Not a bad place. A company definitely that's starting to turn around and actually tells us that things in the economy maybe is starting to look a little bit better. Let's have a look at Abu's choice, and that's first Rand. Abu, let's have a look at first Rand. Banks was recently a little bit under pressure. But look what we're seeing here. Tabu, what I like about this chart, first of all, look at all the higher lows. There you are. Beautiful higher lows. And it found support here. At that 49.55 level. The only thing that worries me, Tabu, the moment I see this, I'm picking something else. And there you are. Let's draw this line in here. There's the line. There's the left shoulder. There's maybe the head. And we may be working on the right shoulder. What's the height of this left shoulder? The height of this left shoulder is 50 rand, or 53 rand on the dot. If you start to go above 53 rand, yes, you've got a good opportunity that it can wipe out this possible right shoulder. And um, it can maybe develop into a new right shoulder if it starts to go lower. My first warning place will be below 51.76. And where's my neckline? My neckline sits at 49 rand and 60 cents. And where can the stock go to? In actual fact, I was quite keen on, on first hand. But when I looked at this chart, suddenly it makes me a little bit nervous. It can maybe take us down this support. And that is sitting at 46 rand. Well, um, Tabo, you can buy it, but I think then it's more of a momentum trade. And if you do chase it above that 53 uh, Rand, 10 cents, 53 Rand level, I think make use of this stop loss. I'm going to give you a stop loss of 50 Rand, 78. That's the low of this nice, strong bullish candle. And at least you know that you've protected your capital. Let's have a look at PPC. Cello is asking about PPC. Now, this is one of the counters that we called on the show, I think, when it was 42 cents. Um, and that's not a long time ago. That's really not a long time ago. And, and this stock is, is surprising us. There you are. Look at it. Broke two rand. And there's the stock. Right at the bottom. There was it down in its feet. And now it's starting to show some nice strength. And this is now a typical company that everything went wrong. They had debt. They first had an offer many years ago of somebody that wants to buy them. Um, I think it was a 10 rand and they refused that. And the company fell on a heap. What happened? Right there at the bottom, it started to turn around. And strangely enough, it, it changed. 
it turned around and it, it happens such a, lo a lot of time. Period. Let's just have a show you here. There you are. There's a tiny little doji there. Sometimes you see a stock turning around on a doji. I mean, that was now a rare case that it right at the bottom of doji. Look what, what's happening. Beautiful rally. A little bit of a consolidation. Another rally. A little bit of a consolidation. And now we're above this. But on the other hand, I will say, if you have got the stock in your portfolio, then you hold on to it. But if you haven't got the stock, wait and give this market a chance to pull back. Because everybody is buying stocks. Everybody is keen on stocks. Everybody believes that stocks can just go up. It's a worldwide phenomenon. People believe that the stock market is the place now to make money. In actual fact, I saw a chart. This, the stock market is now the most expensive in history if you compare it to real estate and to some other classes. So it just shows you be careful. But I mean, PPC is such a small counter. They're only starting to turn around the company, but I will wait for it to pull back. And for you, if you have got the stock above two rand, two rand one cents, the stock actually looks okay. The momentum is up. And if you're a medium, a long-term trader in it or investor in it, you can hold on to the stock. Look at this. While it is above, there you are. While it is above this line, there you are, there you are. Yeah, while it is above 166, my other level is 157. Uh, while it is above 157, you can hold on to the stock. Then I think it can actually go a little bit higher. Well, let's have a look at Jubilee. And this is such an interesting story. Uh, Jubilee is one of those counters that it also was one of the box of the market and then he turned around and it rallied beautifully but it looks like jubilee wants to uh, show us now that it's running out of steam look at this rally i mean from a one rand and eight cents rally last year october three rand 16 now i mean <laughs> it's a beautiful rally but what i do see here is i see a stock that is sort of running out of steam here there is a tiny little head and shoulder here let's just show you uh, there you are Let's have a look there. Just want to get the neckline correctly. There you are. There's a little bit of a left shoulder here. There's the left shoulder. There's the beautiful head. And we're on the right shoulder, but look at these shadows. These boys don't want to see the stock lower than this neckline. You can see they're supporting it every time that it gets to... 3 rand 20 level some buyers around so um steve i'll be a little bit nervous but while it is above 3 rand 20 it tells you that there's some other buyers protecting the stock if it breaks below 3 rand 20 of course we can see a little bit of a pullback i remember the stock had one massive rally here you are massive rally it can pull back maybe to 295 but i mean if you bought it at 1 rand 10 or 1 rand 50 um, who cares if it pulls back a little bit, the stock had a nice rally. Let's have a look at Coronation. Mohammed is asking about Coronation and he said, listen, France, it is for the long term. It is not for, for the short term. I bought the stock for the, for the different yield, he said. Um, I also like Coronation, Mohammed, and the reason why I like it, it's a solid company and usually if the stock market performs well, um, Coronation should do well. And look at this, beautiful turnaround stock. This is now the kind of stock that you can see here uh, that the market um, murdered all the way from 2018 down to 220. Can you believe it? It was as low as 27.66. We showed the stock on the on the program before and we showed, I think it was this uh, inverse head and shoulder. Let's do that again. Here was the inverse head and shoulder. And it looks good to me. The big thing here, remember this is a weekly chart. Remember, we had some nice rallies, a low, a higher low, another higher low. It needs to get above this line here. Let's just draw this line in. There you are. It needs to get above this line of 56 Rand and 50 cents. If it breaks above 56.50, we can easily see another leg to the upside. Um, then I think Coronation can be a hold for the medium to a long-term investor. But once again... For the short-term traders, um, I believe this market had one massive rally. I will wait for it to pull back a little bit. Let's look, of course, at the, the old favorite, Naspers. 
Um, everybody loves this company. I mean, this is one of the counters that nothing can go wrong. In actual fact, I see some of the, the other companies in the overseas counters, like the Apples and all that. Suddenly, they're not at their highs. They're struggling a little bit because the NASDAQ is, is a little bit under pressure. But what we, do we see here? We see a nice, well-entrenched um, ascending channel. There you are. I just want to draw it in there, the line there. Momentum is still up. It's still beautiful above its 40-week moving average. So nobody should worry about this counter. Let's have a look there. Well, if you look at this, well-established ascending channel. It's a steep rally from uh, 2050 all the way up to where it was the, the other day, just below 4,000. And for me, it's almost uh, a stock that you just need to watch out for. What I do see is this tiny head and shoulder here. That's maybe something to take note of. There you are. There's the head and shoulder. There's the left shoulder. There's the head. There's the right shoulder. And if it comes back, it can take it down to this 200-day moving average at 3,160 Rand. For me, the stock is in limbo at the moment within the ascending channel. I will not press it. If I've got the stock, I will hold on. I will only get nervous below this 200-day moving average. It's at 3,230 Rand. While it's above that, I will hold on to the stock. And it can maybe give us a little push to the top, above 3,620 Rand, and it can go a little bit higher again. Well, thank you for watching the show. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. And thank you for all the people that sent us requests. Well, visit our website, www.fransdeclare.com, for more info. And we will chat again. And enjoy the rest of your week.